Hello, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to the finale of Punchline. I was about to yeah. say Penguin Drum. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, what am I doing? I mean, the deeper we go with Serbian, I mean, the worse it gets in weirdness. This is true. <laughs> like, even the next anime that's following this one is going to be even weirder. So, we're going into this uh, episode because last episode uh, they had this big fight scene, right? And uh, I guess the last we saw was uh, uh, you, you. Oh my god, it's Utah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just screw you, Kiwi. Utah and uh, Strange know. Juice. Narugino. <laughs> Yuta and Narugino were, went off into the woods to chase after Guriko. Hopefully now we're going to see what Guriko, like Guriko's backstory, how she has become like this and why she's come to the conclusion that she has. Yuta is obviously going to have to try to save Guriko in a way. Because of course that was Narugino's request so that everybody could go back to the way that, that they used to be, you know, just friends. Goodbye, There's also... Friends. Uh, ignore no. me, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> I, there was this one plot point, I believe, that was introduced last episode or maybe the episode before then. I can't remember exactly, but it was about this ring that uh, Narukino and uh, Guriko were fighting over. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still not quite sure what that ring was about. We do know that Yuta has a ring that is either that ring or similar to it. Perhaps that will also be answered in this final episode. Not sure how we're going to stop the asteroid from colliding with Earth. Uh, Mako has a plan. Mako? Mako? Mako. <laughs> Mako has a plan. And hopefully that succeeds or else literally everybody will die. I don't think they're gonna do the thing where like, yeah, we're just gonna reset everything at the end and let you <laughs> assume what's going to happen next, right? I've seen mm. some manga do that and it pisses me off. <laughs> oh, I, but I don't think this series, Serbia would recommend this series if uh, that was the conclusion to it. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, and there's still that plot point that really hasn't been answered yet we kind of have our theories and we're pretty sure it's correct but when uh, uh what was it the milf uh rabura when rabura mm -hmm. was uh, a kid and she got sort of she seemingly got possessed and she started faxing like things about the future to, oh, that's right yeah yeah to the doctor right yeah mm -hmm. we think that it was yuta who kind of traveled back in time to do that but they still haven't answered this or we don't know if they're going to answer it, but hopefully they do. Uh, I'm not sure how that would tie into the story, but maybe, maybe. Most interesting thing I want to see here is Guriko's uh, sort of motivations to her actions. But all right. Without further ado. And thus, I might end it. <laughs> oh god, it turns out Guriko is just evil. She was born evil. <laughs> <laughs> There's That's no good character reason. writing right there. Mm, there's no, 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 no better reason than just to be evil. I'm evil. I was born evil and I have lived evil. Okay, stop it. Like Yagami. I'm going to... <laughs> Without further ado, I'm actually going to start the episode, right? So, but, well, before I start the episode, I need to tell you guys that, of course, you know what to do, right? Open up your own episode, sing it all the time with our with Kiwi's hands on the end of my countdown, and enjoy the anime with us. Right. Enjoy I'm gonna start it. this thing in three, two, one, now. Yeah, the U.S. Uh, Army was also there because mm -hmm. the leader of the cult this is was possessing a general or something. Me. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's uh, not good. Why did you? <laughs> okay, yeah. For the dramatic effect, we gotta break the glass. <laughs> and the robot that has skipped out on like day every single day. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, and the uh, the Yuta from the future of this timeline <laughs> is here <laughs> processing Rabura. <laughs> That does not look like any kind of hacking I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Future hacking. <laughs> Guriko, what, what kind of resolve do you have in those eyes of yours? <laughs> oh, there's also... I still forgot... I forgot to mention this in the intro, too. Of how Narugino's health is declining, and she can't mm -hmm. go uh, uberfy even mm -hmm. one more time. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're going to have to develop W in order to save her, I think. At least that's what I think. I, uh, the other option is just Narugino just dies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that would be a good ending. <laughs> We'd probably have to reset if that happened. There's so many references that I want to make to one of my most favorite shows of all time, but I can't. You must hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> For my well-being, Zero, hold it back. Hmm? What did you say? For my well-being, Zero, hold it back. <laughs> For some reason, I don't understand what you just said. I'll probably understand during the editing, though. <clears throat> For my well-being, Zero. Hold it back. Ah, okay, so that's what you said. Also, why was Shiro Nosuke running with panties? What? <laughs> Maybe Yuta was about to die this episode and Chunosuke had to jump in and help him over by Wait, did I call Yuta Yuta again? You did. <laughs> How did Yuta become Yuto? No, no. You did. You happened. That's why. <laughs> but how did he become Yuto in my head? Maybe because you when said... you read Spirit Circle, the main character was Yuto. Oh yeah, and that's right. I did read Spirit Circle. <laughs> Damn. I love to be under the... Uh, never mind. Terauka is, uh, yeah, that's the name of the Yuriko, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. He is handicapped. But why? You didn't need panties there. Mm. Is that the first time he's transformed without panties? Uh, not in the flashback, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know that it's an intense moment, but I have to admit that sometimes they're like <laughs> them flying at each other is kind of hilarious. That's when he's dressed in the me, I can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
It's time to plus ultra. The one fault that I have with this fight scene is that they're not Naruto running. They're just running <laughs> with the swords like high above their heads. That's clearly not anime. <laughs> it's almost as if they wanted to have the sword held high so that they can do a striking motion downwards for a powerful strike. <laughs> well, he's dead. Did you just stab her? He punched her. Okay, good. Punch her. Well, I mean, <laughs> punching her is not good. It's just better than stabbing her. Oh, God. Can we be aware of our surroundings, please? Oh. I was wondering... I was wondering why my mic... Wasn't picking me up. You've been muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad uh, you didn't figure this out during the discussion. And <laughs> <laughs> tell us. Okay. Yeah, you got recaptured. Well, I was correct about him, her getting rich, or him, them. I was right uh -huh. about. I love how it's it's just Kiwi saying I was right about, and then it cuts off every single time. <laughs> oh, it really is a generic villain back story. <laughs> Not even Uberified. Oh shit, okay. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> Robert Rob Best Milf. <laughs> He's going Super Saiyan! Oh, oh my, oh my god! <laughs> She's actually... <laughs> this is fucking Naruto! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I knew that she was going to say back. <laughs> right, last nuclear missile launched in order to divert. I knew you were best girl.
Oh. Please don't tell me that this ends with a sad ending of just Guriko just dying. Oh, not Guriko, I mean, Narugino. <laughs> Both I, I don't mind yep. if Guriko Bye. dies, but... What? Why do you... <laughs> oh my god, Kiwi. <laughs> Get better internet. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was me just stopping. <laughs> no. This is not where you die. Look, I've already experienced one sad finale today. I don't need another. Crazy or cry. <laughs> oh my god, Kiwi just popping in and out of existence randomly. <laughs> cry. This is true. The hell are you talking about? Wait, you want to swap? Oh, hey, yeah, we're finally getting answers. Oh, all three. Pine died. This is the only insert song that plays in AMQ. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a bit inappropriate to say at this time, but I'm half expecting to see Kaneki Ken in the background. <laughs> and maybe Sora. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. You dog died. But Chirinosuke still has to come running with panties.
All right, nuclear missiles are doing their thing. Armageddon is real. <laughs> I salute you, Bruce Willis. <laughs> It will be a meteor shower. <laughs> well, if the shards are small enough, then yeah, it'll just be a meteor shower. And it won't really impact on the Earth. Well, maybe some of them will, but hopefully not. Oh, guys, it's your name. <laughs> Bro, we're connecting all the universes now. So with how it's going now, it looks like Nagino is just going to survive in Guriko's body, and Guriko is going to survive in that's her original body. Yuta's body. Oh yeah, yeah, that's her no, original no, body. I forgot. Marugino. Yeah. <laughs> I hate oh my this. God. I hate this fucking show. This is the worst fucking show. Oh my god! So this is the other Yuta. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that would create a Basically, an infinite loop to make mm -hmm. sure that this always happens. <laughs> I think the cinnamon is enough, though. They really don't have to do the pigeon dance. I like how they have both pictures. <laughs> this is a negative one in card advantage. Is it Chirinosuke? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how he looks like. Yeah. Muhi sees food. Oh god, why are you... What is wrong with the camera angles? <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. What the fuck is... 
Meika, how did Meika do that pose? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, Strange Juice continues. What is that? <laughs> Meika can do her handstand. <laughs> Ooh. Why is he look embarrassed? What? Bruh. Oh, who are they going up against? As of presumably the bullies. Ah, okay. <laughs> Poor Rabara. Poor Rabara. <laughs> Totomate. <laughs> Is she wearing a wig? <laughs> it's the face maker that make a main. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're back to here. <laughs> Wait, is that how they're going to- <laughs> So apparently this does actually ha So they did make a game after the anime, and I think it does have another ending, but... <laughs> I haven't played it yet, so I can't say on how it ends. <laughs> oh. That was a good anime and a good way <laughs> to loop everything. <laughs> yes. Now I told you zero, I like satisfying loops. <laughs> uh. It's not quite as tidy as Devil Man's, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's actually kind of ironic. Uh, we ended with both finales yeah. on the same day <laughs> and they actually both do the exact same loop so <laughs> this might be kind of detrimental to like my point of view on the uh, ending of punchline because of that otherwise mm -hmm. i might have thought that yeah it was pretty neat but then of course <laughs> circumstances you know it's really mm -hmm. weird how it all lined up perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that through when I had us watch these shows at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be really hard. I'm going to try my best not to compare the two. Because <laughs> obviously, Punchline and Devil Man is not really something that you should be comparing to each other. They're, They're completely different. different. <laughs> yeah. So before I give my opinions on the ending as a whole, uh, <laughs> let's talk about what happened this episode. So, yeah. in the intro, I was asking about like, yeah, this and this, this and that. Are we going to finally get resolutions on pretty much every plot point that hasn't been revealed to us yet? Or are they going to leave it open-ended? But thankfully, they have sort of patched everything up. Of course, some was just uh, said in passing. Uh, and mm -hmm. others like uh, Goriko's backstory was shown in like brief flashbacks, which mm -hmm. sadly it turned out to just be exactly what Kiwi said. <laughs> and what I thought, That's like, how you yeah. predict things, Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I thought mm. that uh, it would be a bit more, uh, how should I say, unconventional? Uh, a bit more unique. Yeah. Um, I think they structured it this way because they wanted it to seem like Gretico could be redeemed. And yeah. that maybe they would play into like letting him sacrifice himself and then mm -hmm. have Yuta react to that. But it is, mm -hmm. it is kind of. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely feel like they could have done I mean, more well, with I was Guriko's making character the theory, there. Well, I was making the theory. I was like, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Dead silence. <laughs> Oh no, Kiwi. <laughs> She's gone forever. Oh no. So yeah, uh, that was a weird cut because Kiwi had some connection issues. Let's continue with the discussion where Kiwi left off. All right, continue. Yeah. Kiwi. So, like I was saying, <laughs> trying to say, 
was basically while I was making that theory and thinking it about it, I was oh. saying multiple times, I hope they don't do this. <laughs> I yeah, <hope>. I remember. <laughs> so, when they actually did that. <laughs> it, yeah, was that was like, the way that it was going, right? It, it was mm -hmm. probably going to end up being that kind of way since everybody else got taken by some person. But we didn't see who Guriko was taken by, so yeah, it was probably the evil organization that took her back in. Uh, mm -hmm. However, I was expecting it to add some sort of twist to that, to make the backstory a bit more interesting, make Guriko mm -hmm. a more relatable character. However, it didn't really do that, perhaps mm -hmm. with like time constraints, or maybe that was just a choice that they made. Uh, I'm not really mm -hmm. sure, but yeah, I, I still think it could have been done better. I don't know exactly yeah, how. Yeah, I'm not obviously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wish they made it really generic in a way that she was taken in by someone nice, raised by a nice person, then that person died, and that's why she wants to end the world. But no. I feel like she that would have just... been equally as generic and yeah. disappointing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. It would have been, but we could have had the <laughs> Never mind. Well, well <laughs> we're not award-winning like manga writers or like yeah, story yeah. writers, right? Obviously, we, will, we can't come up with something greater than <laughs> what we know. Um, mm. But yeah, uh, maybe uh, we've been watching too many good anime, and I might have been expecting too much. This was like an like, around the way. Just based off of Uchikuchi's like previous character, like real works and stuff. Uh -huh. I think villain motivation is one of his weaker points, just as a writer. it mm. The thing that Uchikoshi, I think, excels at is just the unique uh, storytelling and how things kind of unfold in an unconventional manner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like I'm thinking about his villain from I and his villains from uh, Zero Escape. Zero mm. Escape's more interesting in how it kind of unfolds. But it still isn't like the most creative of villain motivations. <laughs> if we're but. talking about villain motivations, that is an interesting point to bring up. I do feel like that is one of the most difficult parts of a story to get right. Mm -hmm. Like, you can just make the bad guy bad for the sake of being bad and it'd still be a good story. Like, case in point, Kono Diuda. <laughs> Kaiba. I was thinking Kaiba. Why Kaiba? <laughs> Kaiba's not bad Kaiba because he's bad. Kaiba's medieval, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kaiba's just an asshole. And he's rich. <laughs> uh, but I think the reason it feels shallower here is because Gurito kind of does that heel flip turn where it's like, wait, now I kind of just want to be punished for my evil actions and... and yeah, that yeah. didn't really impact me as much emotionally as it probably should yeah. have yeah well yeah mm. and i think it's not meant to which is why yuta rejects them but mm. I, I i agree and that whole kind of moment is probably one of the weakest i, I, I was not... feeling so bad i was feeling so bad for naru you know and yuta and then she was like it's time for us to switch back <laughs> 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 I do kind of like the scene <laughs> with Rabara just coming in. I do in like Rabara finally got to do her whole like exorcism stuff. <laughs> like, this entire time we weren't really sure whether she was legit or not. <laughs> well, we knew she had some sort of spirit ability, which is why Yuta could possess her. And then yeah. her whole family supposedly were mediums. You just like, never seen cool her do this. She finally got her moment. Yeah. Well, yeah. she didn't believe herself to be real either. She doubted her own <laughs> abilities. <laughs> uh, Ravro would fit in fine in Jujutsu Kaisen. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, uh, I love this scene at the end where all three of them are kind of having that moment together. Yeah, they're it's all good. pushing forwards to mm -hmm. pushing towards a better future in their mm -hmm. own I way. Wish I could see. I, mean, I wish I could see what you guys were talking about. It's, no. it's, it's Rob it's Rob Rob was, doing the Naruto uh, signs. Expelling the, uh, <laughs> the spirit oh, okay. of the bad guy. <laughs> She's activating her shadow clone jutsu. Also, her hair She's falls down back. and she looks absolutely sexy. Yeah, Narugino's declining health problems do come into play here when she has to kind of uberfy for the last time in order to mm -hmm. apparently knock a thing. 
Guriko into her senses. Uh, <laughs> felt a bit weak to me, but okay. Uh, I mean, if we, if the villain is weak, then of course the moment where the hero tries to defeat the villain would feel weak as well. <laughs> yeah, that was just kind of her way to try and redeem her, uh, of course. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and then they come up with the thing to swap bodies. Well, not come up. Guriko suggests that they're going to swap bodies now. Mm -hmm. Because they've lamented about what they've done, and now I will die in place of Narugino. <laughs> Uh, we also get the answer to what the rings were. It's kind of a promise <laughs> ring. Or, well, you could also view it as a marriage ring, in a way. Uh, uh, Yuta and his harem of two girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I think they'd be fine with that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, that doesn't come to be. Because Yuta is just like, Yeah, no. We're not doing the thing that you want to do. I'm going to do the thing that I'm going to do. And you're going like, to have to suffer for it. He says, I haven't forgiven you for what you did. Or he's like, no, I'm not going to give you the easy way out. I'm not going to yeah. let that happen. <laughs> At the end there, uh, Guriko just wanted to die in order to atone for what she has done in a way. Mm -hmm. And the hero of our story denies her <laughs> of that <laughs> last moment of redemption. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fuck off. <laughs> Well, it's basically oh, like, I just don't understand. If, if Kuriko has to redeem herself, I don't understand why she's going to, to the mountains and not just trying to redeem herself with Narugino and the rest. I, I guess that was kind of like a journey of self-discovery. Yeah, that's I don't how know. I took it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see, okay. And I yeah, was like, I if she's just... going to redeem herself, shouldn't she be like working in the house or something? Why I think the point not... is that she's kind of anymore she's stuck in pine's body grew up in the place that tortured her was adopted by the head of the kyume group like <laughs> they don't know who they are anymore so they're kind of left to go and find that when yuta rejects them oh by the way guys uh if serbi's voice played at two times speed don't worry about that it's just internet <laughs> it's at this point <laughs> and I said it was sound, sounded perfectly fine to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, there was fluctuations on my end as well. It's just bad today. <laughs> and then they went to like the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> <laughs> they had the final world. It looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it actually looks get... very much like the final world, but like at sunset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at sunset, and then they get their moment with Sora and Kairi. Uh, and here, uh, Yuta gets left within this world, seemingly, to pass on. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, gets to go back to her own original body. And mm -hmm. then, of course, they get to live a happy future. After, yeah, the asteroid gets destroyed by, like, millions of nuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. Then they tie up everything back neatly together with future Yuta of this timeline going mm -hmm. back in order to create an infinite loop to mm -hmm. secure this future. Mm -hmm. And once again, I want to make a reference so incredibly bad, but I will not. We also see where Chirinosuke came from. He's a cat that they adopted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the person who adopted it was Ito, is that correct? Uh, I don't remember. It said. Okay. Yeah, I think it was Ito. Yeah, and Ito didn't yeah. decide the name yet. Okay. No, Gido decides to call him uh, Chuyonosuke. So, <laughs> does that mean that Chuyonosuke's spirit comes back in order to help out Yuta? Yeah, whenever or... Chuyonosuke dies in the future, his spirit goes back to be the guide. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Mm. So, that is the origin of Tutorial Cat. Mm. A magical flying ghost cat from the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see like uh, some sort of closure I suppose for mm -hmm. our characters I feel kind of sad that Yuta cannot be a part of this yeah I don't like I said the game has another ending so you like it would effectively be if this continued I think but okay. I don't know how that we're, one ends I think yeah, it's we're supposedly not... like, so this it. is <laughs> uh basically a zero of the series that i will not name i'm guessing <laughs> what <laughs> do you know that the series that i will not it name is. has a second oh. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it basically has a, another ending to it as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I'm guessing that yeah. this is in a similar vein because they have very similar concepts. Mm-hmm. Perhaps that ending could be like a better ending, maybe the true ending, or maybe yeah. Like just from the tiny bit I've read about it, I think it is kind of more of a like coherent ending. To like mm. continue it, but I I don't know that for a fact because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Maybe perhaps like ending. this end this ending might be like uh, the first preliminary ending that you have to get in order to uh, find a way mm. in order to get to the final final ending, right? That's uh, usually how it goes to games go. That's where you're going down different branches until mm-hmm. and you have to like learn different things to go back and go down the correct final true path or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. I I do recommend all of Uchikoshi's games. Like they're all a lot of fun. Zero Time Dilemma is unfortunately uh, sabotaged by its budget, but Oof. and uh, Zero Escape fans are just happy it exists because it wasn't going to. <laughs> I see. All Uchikoshi right. as a writer, I always just found his stories are just a lot of fun. <laughs> And they're yeah. like enough like complicated back and forth that it keeps me engaged. <laughs> that is one thing that I can agree on is that the entire journey through here has been fun. It's been there have been many like unexpected moments and like over the top shit that has happened throughout the entire <laughs> series that has made me just laugh, maybe just go like, what am I even watching? Right? <laughs> this yep. show has really stumped me sometimes, confused me, <laughs> put me through the ringer, and mm-hmm. I can appreciate the journey. Uh, well, of course, we've kind of made it clear that the ending has been a bit... Uh, I'm satisfied. Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, I, I still appreciate everything that has been shown to us and all the good discussions that we've had throughout the series and each reaction. I suppose the last thing that we can do for the series is give it a rating. I yeah. will let Miss mm-hmm. Kiwi go first, or else she will um, feel like she'll be just using our words <laughs> in her explanation. <laughs> so, yes, I'll give you the advantage, Kiwi. Go ahead. I, I'll give it like an eight. I think that we said our like thoughts about it pretty well. <laughs> the, mm. the villain... <laughs> motives and the ending is kind of unsatisfying so i'll give it an eight <laughs> that's enough uh, for i'll me. give it a high score because it was unsatisfying yes <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see i never found the ending unsatisfying i find it satisfying it. even if the villain motivation is shallow <laughs> mm. no i mean like yuta isn't there so oh. i'm giving it based on that the whole show up to like the ending is very good, which is why I'm giving you the highest score. You know, that's how I'm rating it right now. <laughs> As for me, I would have to give it a 7 out of 10. And that's usually just a higher than average score for me. My average mm-hmm. score would be 6. The journey here has, of course, been fantastical. It's been an experience, certainly. <laughs> I've appreciated every moment of it. <laughs> mm, it's... It didn't quite turn out to be an 8 out of 10 for me, simply because there were some weak moments throughout it. Mm. Uh, it you, can cl- you can see that, of course, this show does have its flaws here and there. Oh, yeah. And, of course, about this ending where it doesn't necessarily have to have Yuta being like a part of the epilogue. It doesn't always have to end in like a hundred percent good, perfect, happy ending all the time in order to be a legendary mm-hmm. ending, as can mm-hmm. be seen from our Devil Man Cry Baby finale. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it has to have some sort of, well, to me, it has to have mm-hmm. some sort of lasting impact, which mm-hmm. I felt was kind of not really there. For the moment yeah. when Yuta like sacrificed himself, I didn't, I didn't feel like the emotional tug on my heartstrings. Maybe because <laughs> my heart is just extremely cold. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, look, I, I'm trying. Yes, don't cold heart. Oh. 
<laughs> Look, yeah. I'm trying to say positive things, all right? I'm trying to keep this <laughs> positive. <laughs> yeah, I was really curious to see what you guys thought of it, because it is one of those shows where I feel like it's going to be very hit or miss for people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love the personal journey. rating for it is a nine. It's it's definitely flawed. It's not perfect. Mm -hmm. But I just have so much. I've rewatched the show so many times. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. like, I i really like the main character like i like I, kiwi mentioned throughout the show that she kind of resonates with ito i've always really resonated with yuta uh so yeah, not is not his whole perfectness but it <laughs> is my spirit animal even though i am an asthmatic and i am insanely allergic to animal fur if someone came to my door and i knew them and they were like can you please take care of this pet for me i would be like yeah sure <laughs> I'll take care of them, <laughs> but that's only if I know them, though. Not if they don't. You know? Yeah, mm. that's why I could never give it a ten because it is flawed, and there's there's a lot of things that I would change or fix up with it. But mm. I I just enjoy it too much to give it less than a nine. <laughs> yes, you, I also enjoy it to give it less than an eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You did actually bring up a good point there in its uh, rewatch value. Which is something that uh, a lot of anime don't have. I, mm -hmm. I believe with the nature of the show, of course, there's a ton of rewatch value to be had with all the details uh, that we missed in the first episode. Mm -hmm. Just as a testament to that value. When you have yeah. context, it can also feel like a completely new show, actually, when you watch through it the second time. Mm -hmm. And I do think that's I one mean, of the strengths of Uchikoshi's same. writing is just he mm -hmm. is really good at layering that for that kind of loop and that rewatch or replay. <laughs> I mean, it's the same for Penguin Drum, and it will probably be the same for Sarazanmai. For some <laughs> reason, Serpy really likes to rewatch her anime. <laughs> uh, yeah, Serpy enjoys satisfying loops. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I also enjoy satisfying loops. However, I didn't watch the shows that Serbi watched. I watched the shows <laughs> that cannot be named that does have satisfying loops in it I've and never really watched. good rewatch I've value. Never, I've never watched the loop shows or good rewatch shows. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you I've spend most of your time watching BL. No, I don't. There's not many B good BL animes, so I don't watch it. I read it. Oh yeah, you read it. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> But I have the most, like, I have the most anime that I watched out of everyone here, and I'm surprised on how many things I have not watched. <laughs> well, I guess we have our own specific tastes. Who knew, right? <laughs> Idol shows. Idol shows. And I wonder why Kiwi hasn't seen good anime. Dramas. But <laughs> Fruits Basket is a good anime. Fruits Basket is a good anime. It's just not mine or Serbi's type of anime. <laughs> you guys should be ashamed. <laughs> uh, shaming people about their taste in anime is shameful. It's not elegant <laughs> at all, Kiwi. Honestly. Uh, if, people, if people and Mal can do it, then I can do it as well. Oh. Wow. Well, <laughs> I think we're distracted at this point. <laughs> yeah, that about does it for this discussion, guys. <laughs> In the next series that we'll be reacting to, yet another head scratcher. And maybe <laughs> if you're fine with butt stuff, make sure to go watch our reaction to Sarazanmai. Uh, I believe it's a series that was written by Yukuhara or directed yep. by Yukuhara. Yeah, Both. yeah. Yep. And if any of you are interested in Yukuhara's other works, we've also reacted to Penguin Drum on the channel. That was mm -hmm. one hell of a ride. I do <laughs> highly recommend watching it. Only if you are open-minded, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not an anime for everyone. And Sarazanmai <laughs> will most likely be the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that one, Serbi has watched Sarazanmai through, but me and Kiwi are going in completely blind. So we don't really know what to I've expect. Seen the first episode. I think you both saw the first episode. Yeah, I think we did. It's just that a lot of disturbing things happened, and I've forgotten <laughs> a lot about it because I've chosen to forget about it. That was before <clears throat> I had trained you guys. You're ready now. 
no, 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 we are not. I am not ready for service on my. I am not ready. I am not excited or ready for service on my. <laughs> well, if you made it to this part of the video, make sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe, join us for the next series or any yeah. other series that we might do in the future. But until then, see you guys in the next series. Later, bye dudes. bye. bye.